Hello, wonderful campaign logger user. Uh, we're getting a lot of reports, and we've experienced this ourselves, of our logs disappearing in campaign logger. So first off, do not worry. Uh, there is a quick solution to this. I'm going to show you how to do it. And also understand that we keep nightly backups. Uh, I don't know exactly the time zone and the time of that, but we back up your data every day. So like worst case scenario, the ultimate disaster, you will have lost one day's worth of data. Now, I don't like it if I lose even a five minutes of data, um, but it's better than having, you know, we, we take care of your backups for you. It's better than losing all of your data. But what's happening is that uh, the internet is losing packets between uh, our servers and your browser. And so what that means is you're basically getting kind of corrupted data and incomplete download uh, for campaign logger to work. And so then it, it will, like for example, if it just misses an apostrophe in the code, uh, on the in a browser side code, then the thing won't display. There will be uh, errors. And so you will get no logs because it could not parse the data. So um, we're working on a uh, kind of a longer term solution for this. We can't control the internet, uh, but the, I will show you today now what to do to get your logs back. Uh, they're, they're there, they're there on our server, just waiting to be pulled down. Uh, we just have to do a couple of simple steps. So the first thing to do is please ensure that you are using the latest version of Campaign Logger, which we are calling vNext, which is short for the next version. And that is on app.campaign-logger.com. And once you're there, we've migrated your logs. So you should see all of your, your logs after this uh, time, after this kind of remediation that we're about to do. And then, uh, yeah, you should see all your logs uh, at, at some point there. And with the new version, you get all the latest features as well. And so ultimately what we want to do is clear our cache. And so clearing the cache uh, for the website, for uh, campaignlogger.com, will force the browser to request a brand new data download uh, from your server. Now we have not heard from anyone that they've had to do this twice or three times. It works on the first time. But if it does for some reason fail, uh, your internet connection might be um, uh, poor at this time. Uh, there might be a lot of draw around in your neighborhood on your, on your internet or something. Uh, then please try it again. So here's what we do is we clear our cache. In, in Windows Chrome, you just hit Shift F5, and that will reload the browser, a hard refresh, clear the cache, and bring your logs back. Just give it a couple of moments to uh, download again, realistically 10 seconds, which can seem like a long time if you're wondering if your logs are there. Uh, and so, it, but for those who don't, um, who want a different or more um, kind of manual method and, and a more visible method, um, I go to, in Chrome, I go to Tools, Clear Browsing Data. I then cancel out of the default, and then I go to um, Cookies and Other Site Data. Actually, I'll, there, I'll zoom in a bit. And so then I go down, so here's our menu here. Chrome has put this all on the left-hand side as well with your settings. I go to um, See All Cookies and Data right here. And this will bring up all my cookies. And then I just start typing campaign hyphen. I could type in logger. Anyways, it will just dynamically uh, show you what cookies and cache that you have. And then I, you can just hit remove all shown or you can just purposefully uh, target app.campaignlogger.com and campaign.logger.com. And so once you do that and refresh your browser window, it'll ask you to log in again. Uh, it will then uh, draw down the data. The other thing that you can do uh, if you have kind of garbly data or some kind of error is uh, click the top right button here uh, and then it will um, also perform a similar trick. Uh, it's just um, uh, I've never had an, uh, a failure when someone has tried the clear cache uh, thing. This will grab the data again from your um, from the server. So I use this button quite a bit when I'm using I'm multiple tabs open and things and there's a bit of uh, latency, so I'll just refresh uh, the, that browser tab with all of the data from the server. But uh, it does not re-download the entire application into your browser, uh, which a hard refresh will. Now, the other thing, like you might not have uh, Windows and you might not have Chrome, so what I do is uh, just Google your scenario, like what OS you have and what browser you have, and then clear cache. And then Google will show you the steps, basically outlining them in the search results themselves. So Mac, Firefox, Clear Cache, here's the steps here with a link uh, for more detail. Here's one for Mac, Chrome, Clear Cache, the steps with a link to more detail. Last example, Windows, Firefox, Clear Cache, same thing. So just uh, do that. I hope this helps. Uh, I apologize for the panic. 
I wish that uh, there was a different kind of architecture or solution where the data was just free flowing and not uh, have any kind of download issues, but we watched the packets uh, go missing as we want to monitor network traffic uh, in our environments. And uh, yeah, for some reason, uh, occasionally things uh, get missed uh, in download and a refresh will solve your problem. Apologies again for the panic and happy logging.